ongoing complaint of a dryer taking too long to dry clothes. Ducks have already been professionally cleaned and the tenant is still complaining. Dryer heater is working just fine. Taking a look down this flex duct and it actually looks pretty good. Now I want to measure the air velocity coming out of the dryer. I'm going to set my and manometer to miles per hour and I've got 12 miles per hour, which is about 92 CFM, a little below the specs recommended by Whirlpool, which is 105 CFM minimum. While I believe the vent company did a great job of cleaning out the vents, they did not open up the dryer chute, obviously, because this thing is just packed full of lint. And a very common problem with this model of dryer and very easy to fix by removing three screws to take off this front cover. Then you want to push down on the springs that the front cover was held into. This will give you access to the dryer chute, which is a very common place for lint to build up to the point where it affects the drying pretty majorly. With the dryer chute removed, we can inspect the lint buildup in three different spots. There's a lot in the chute itself. There's a ton on this blower wheel, which is probably the majority of the airflow issues. And there's a ton right here on the lint trap screen. This is definitely going to affect the airflow, but it's pretty easy to clean up. I'm just using a hard bristle brush and I'm going to stroke these fan blades until they're pretty clean. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the lint trap area. And they do make dryer vacuum attachments that can reach down here and vacuum out this lint trap area and the chute, not really the blower wheel itself. Uh, I've only tried out a couple of them and they seem to work pretty well, but it's that blower area that it can't get to. Now here's the dryer chute itself and this is where the bulk of the lint is. dryer chute is pretty clean but I did run this under a sink just to get any residual dirt out. I don't want dust collecting on dust. This is the end result of all the lint I got out from inside the machine. Now that everything is nice and clean we can go ahead and do a comparison test of what we had when we originally showed up at the job. And after the cleaning, we have 16 miles per hour, which is a 25% increase in efficiency, which equals about 120 CFM. Not the best, but better than it was. Thanks for watching. This fix is done.